your boy Spider-Man and say man Your man, I'm sitting here with my sister, my day one, the one who holds it down for me, my co-host Daria. Say what's up, Daria. What's up, Daria? And welcome to the Trailer Drops, our trailer reaction review show for the channel. We got another one for you. Matter of fact, the past three of these might as well just been like 2020's delayed movies. It should be, or <laughs> like, going down memory lane. Basically, because a lot of these are the ones that we've already done and touched upon before, and we're supposed to be coming out like late 2020, or at worst, maybe early 2021. Yeah. And now they've been repackaged and redone or or moved a little bit later down the line. Kind of a good thing. I mean, it's, I'm not saying it's not. Yeah. Because I know that we've done Black Widow before. Yeah. We definitely have. I think we've done it twice before. We back. did, because each time... One was a teaser, then another one was the actual trailer. With and each one came with like, you know, yeah. the date moving down the line. But I think yeah. we finally got this one tamped down because we got another Black Widow trailer. And honestly, like, because they kept moving it down the line, our interest in it has sort of waned a little bit. I'm, yeah. I'm going to be real. Just keeping it real. Because we've been, we've been, we've been feasting on yeah. some Marvel content. We've yeah. had WandaVision. We've had Falcon and the Winter Soldier is hitting up. We've gotten teasers for Loki about to come out. we got What If coming out pretty soon. Uh, yeah. we got got uh, details about uh, the new Spider-Man movie about to come out. Yeah. We've got... Uh, uh, Doctor uh, Strange. Yeah, the Multiverse of Madness about to come out. Captain Marvel, all of All of that. Yeah. We're getting details for everything else. And, like, Black Widow is a film... That is set prior to, you know, this, what, what is it, phase four, phase five, where it is yeah, right now? Yeah. Prior to all of that happening. Yeah. And I don't know what it means for the, uh, the, the Marvel Universe as a whole, unless they're going to be introducing a new character that will take on, uh, Na I almost said Natalia. <laughs> <laughs> Natalia. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I got wrestling on the mind. Sorry. Ah, it's going to be taking okay. on on uh, the Black Widow's mantle or fight from that movie onward. We don't know. Okay. But like for now, out of all of the properties, like this one has has went from high bar, high bar, high bar. We're so hyped for it because we haven't gotten nothing coming out. And 2020 was a year where we had nothing Marvel getting released. And this was the only one that was on the horizon yeah. to, okay, now it's here. Everything else is kind of superseding it. So now it just feels like, okay, let's just go ahead and get through with it. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, that's just my opinion. Yeah, 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 you're right. Uh, your opinions are like assholes. Everybody got one and they all stink. <laughs> but I mean. anyway, we do have uh, the new trailer just dropped like today. So let's go ahead and take a look and see if there's any new information, any new Easter eggs uh, that they might have added in. And maybe they will find some way to get my uh, my my attention again. Okay. Let's figure it out. All right. Ears up. Your ears up. Let's go. You don't know everything about me. I've lived a lot of lives before I was an Avenger, before I got this family. I made mistakes choosing between what the world wants you to be. And who you are. Hmm. We have to go back to where it all started. Where did you think I was all this time? We have unfinished business. My girls are the toughest girls in the world. I'm sorry. We had our orders and we played our roles. It wasn't real. To me. To me? You were everything. Jesus! Bring her home. Put your seatbelts on. She's such a mom. That was nice. That was a nice transition. Yeah. I like that. One thing's for sure. I'm done running from All house. right. Okay. All right, you're getting me. You're helping me back in. Jeez. Okay. All right, 
so July ninth, yeah. All right, all right. So as I was saying, okay. Uh, when when Black Widow's first first two trailers came out, there was everything else was still like in development, and uh, this was the only one that was seemingly tangible uh, on the horizon. It got moved back and back and back. Now it's dropping July 9th in theaters and on Disney Plus. Um, and like, I am curious how this is going to tie into where we are right now because everything else in reference to Black Widow is in the future. Yeah. Falcon and the Winter Soldier is in the future. Yeah. Uh, WandaVision, future. Everything is in the future because Wanda, uh, because cause Black Widow's dead. Yeah. This is all her past stuff. Yeah. That we're, that we're talking and referencing. Unless somehow she got resurrected, <laughs> which I don't think is, I keep saying that word. <laughs> yeah. Because you were determined to say it. So I'm, I guess there I'm determined you go. to say that word. Okay. Uh, but but unless, unless she manages to get, to get brought back from the dead. Right. Uh, this is all stuff that's happening in the past, but it is introducing us to Taskmaster. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I am curious where that is going to go. If we're going to see uh, more of, of her family become a fixture in the MCU, like for instance, uh, in Falcon and the Winter Soldier, we got uh, we got at the tw- at the end of the episode. This is not much of a spoiler because we're going to be hitting this up on uh, on our run it back, uh, which is going to drop tomorrow or so. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got. The Dora Milaje in Falcon and the Winter Soldier uh, being yeah. completely separate from Black Panther and Wakanda as a yeah. property, yeah. as a property. So maybe we're going to see some of the widows or like you know Black Widow's family, uh, that that assassins force or whatever show up in the MCU okay. somewhere down the line. Yeah. Maybe who knows? I'm curious. I went from being completely like not caring about this and completely forgetting it was going to be a thing to okay now I'm back to being curious. Right, right. How, how about you? Yeah, I'm. Ba- they've hooked me back in with all of that. <laughs> you saw the action. Yeah, like, I saw the action. I'm good. Let's go. I had nice transitions. I'm ready to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. Black Widow finally getting a release date, finally. July 9th in theaters. And on Disney Plus, hopefully by then people will be vaccinated. I know things are opening up a lot more. Uh, I know I just got my second dose. Yay. Yay. I so, get my first this week. Yay. Yay. So, so like, we, we're, we're moving to where we can actually hit the theatros. Yeah, hit the theaters. So, hopefully we get a chance to watch it there. But let us know what you thought about the trailer and the positioning of Black Widow in the MCU down in the comments below. Because, again, we do like to hear from you, our kaiju faithful also make sure that you like it the content that you do enjoy with us and help support the channel by subscribing to us and become a member of the kaiju wrecking crew you can also head on over to patreon.com slash heel kaiju get updates on the site the store and the channel you can also become a a member a patron and get access to exclusive content and even some exclusive merch uh, merch codes and where can they use those merch codes d i know i stumbled <laughs> what? Head on over to hillkaiju.com slash shop where you can get our exclusive fabulous fabulous kaiju merch. There you go. Struggle. Shut up. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Hope you're having a wonderful day out there. And we'll catch you on the next trailer drops. Deuces. Bye-bye. Ooh.